Hi everyone, hi, welcome back. Today it is time for another collaboration live in fluid color. This is a painting collaboration together with Molly from Molly's Artistry and Olga from Olga Sobi. That's weird to say, just Olga, Olga Sobi. <laughs> five years ago, we roughly five years ago, we all started our YouTube channels. We were artists before, but then we started posting our art tutorials. We dreamt about a couple of things. And now fast forward five years later, it is insane how many dreams came true and more. We grew as artists, we developed our distinct styles, but also we grew it in our friendship and we just grew together and it's amazing to see and i'm so proud of these girls but this collaboration let's talk a little bit about that i took this picture it was one of the first pictures i could take that showed spring is just around the corner we all will be creating a painting inspired by this picture and because we all have different styles it's super interesting to see what paintings we will be creating out of this. So of course, after my video, go check out Olga and Molly. Of course, I made this picture and the subject is just right up my alley. It's botanical and I love the composition in it. The colors are, hmm, I love it in the picture, but to create a painting with that, I think that's challenging. I love that for me. <laughs> I love challenges. So let's start creating a painting based on this picture. And as well, I need to tell you that we all have our own art courses, and also a joint course, acrylic pouring A to C, and we're running a spring sale. So you can get 20% off on all of our art courses with coupon code SPRING20. I will list all the courses in the description. So if you're interested, go check it out. But now let's start painting. Here we go, I'm wetting the canvas and I have been thinking, first I did want to use blue as the background color. You know, in the picture we have this beautiful blue sky, not typical darts, but it was that day. But I think if I use a blue background color and then with some pink flowers on top of it, of course, it will create some violet, something I would really like, but I think it becomes too sweet for my taste. So that's why I want to start focusing more on the pink shades and especially on that dark burgundy color that we see in the flowers there. It's just about taking inspiration from that picture. It doesn't have to be realistic. I just need to do my thing inspired by the colors. So how to create that burgundy dark color? I have here a quinacridone violet and some Van Dyck brown. And I think if I mix those together, you will get more or less that color. Let's create it. Oh, this is really that color. It's a bit more purple than I would have liked. It's more of the brown to it. Well, these are different colors. <laughs> Let's go with it. Let me just do my thing. Like that. All right, let's start filling this up with some color. Oh, but this is definitely that color. Loving the shades here. And I'm just dipping my brush in the water because it still has a little bit of the residue of the color on it. <laughs> Not at all also the composition of that picture. Well, I'm definitely focusing on the on the dark color <laughs> of the picture. Just be thinking, nobody will see. I drew some inspiration from here. 
And I love, love to work with quite some negative space. So I might use some negative space. There's not a lot of negative space in the picture, but hey, let's shut up about the picture. So now I want to start using some white and then some softer pink shades and then probably also some darker. And I have an interference blue and I think I want to use the blue as a, a beautiful accent. And of course, with the blue and the purple and, uh, and the pink shades, it will definitely create a, a shimmery violet. But I think that will be quite nice. Oh, you see that? I can now press quite hard and create lighter shades in these. Now this is quite a composition I, I use a lot. Uh, so I feel like when adding the fluid white to this, I need to do something a bit more interesting. Scott Hill. It's too wet. Oh, oh, the canvas is too wet. I need to wait, but now I do need to work on this. But it's the background color is eating into the white. Wait. I will I will wait a couple of minutes till this is more dry and so I can use the white a lot better. I don't want the color underneath go into the white. Okay, that's already bad on. Show some of that interference blue already. That. Also, I have quite some uh, green and uh, brown in that picture, by the way. Not even using that, only focusing on that dark burgundy color. So monochrome, how is it possible I'm creating such a monochrome painting out of that picture? Now I'm using very light pink. I love that this is truly a flower. Uh, this is one big leaf part here. What? I want to add some of that green and some like brown as well. Definitely missing some color. It's so monochrome. <laughs> Let's add some green. It is in the picture, so don't hate me for it. That is something. Yeah, this immediately is changing this. I like how this is overlapping all together. So it feels now like there are two flowers and this is more like the leaves around it. Then might I'm missing here something. There is quite a lot of the pearl blue in this. Also, by the way, if I look from here, see it all shiny. I will add some blue. Let's just go crazy here. So now we do have a little bit of blue. I'm working on this for so long. Loving how abstract this looks. That part is not totally fine. 
I will leave this for now. I might be back with a second layer. For now, I'm quite happy. I'll be back. Here she is, all finished. I did do some touch-ups. You can see it here made in the white. Made everything a little bit more clean. Because it's quite a busy painting. And I wanted the lines to be more crisp. I also did add this blue leaf here. So now we have three blue parts. And I love that I used the blue here. But without the picture, I would have never appreciated to go with this palette. So that's the fun of this collaboration. I can't wait to see what Molly and Olga are creating. So I'm going to head to their videos now. Hope you will do the same. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next week, Saturday.